Hi, my name is Gabriel and this is Liz and we've been invited by Adidas out to their HQ campus in Germany in order to capture the Road to Records event. But first, let's explore the city. We'll be staying in Nuremberg and the first day we arrived and gave us some time to walk around and get our bearings. It was a beautiful place and I haven't been there for many years so it's great to explore again. Day two and things really got started. Welcome to the Adidas campus. This $350 million complex was built in a small town in Germany where Adidas was founded. And we got the chance to explore it and meet some special guests. We met up with some other creators and then headed out to do a track session first thing in the morning where we're surprised by one of the all time greats of track and field. I'm not running today, but everyone else is doing a track session led by some Adidas coaches. <laughs> well, it's not every day that the special guest is highly Gabri Salati to lead a track session, so pretty cool experience. Up, 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 hey, hey, up, up. Honestly, he's so surreal seeing a track and field legend just running around the track so casually and trying to grab a photo as he runs fast. Yeah, no, no, no. Legend is not doing it. <laughs> Ah, they need to Number is so competitive, he wants everyone to do a relay race right now instead of the uh, kind of warm up shake out that they were doing. So, everyone's going for it. <laughs> Track session done, it was time to get across the Adidas campus and go and get some food. Of course, we had to travel in style. Just grabbing some lunch. This looks good. Next up, we went over to the Adidas Innovation Lab where we tested some shoes that are gonna come out in two years time to give them our input and feedback. We weren't allowed to film anything though, so no clips from here. After this, we had a session with Morton where we learned all about nutrition and how it can affect your performance. We got a full run through of all their products, when you should use them and how much it can affect your performance by, which was really interesting. They also gave us some insight into how professional athletes use their products and fuel for optimum performance. Finished with lunch and now we are on our way over to the on-site Adidas outlet to see if we can pick up any cool clothes or shoes that reduce the price. Is that an accurate description? Yeah. <laughs> so that brat was absolutely enormous, so I might see if they have some kind of zen room to fall asleep in. <laughs> the Adidas HQ outlet, so hopefully we can get some little, little bargains. Not gonna lie, outlet. Not great. <laughs> Don't find anything discounted at all, huh? So now just two little idiots we've got to make our way back to the campus. It's not that far. It's all the way over there. Day two complete. Now it was time for the main event on day number three. This was the fourth year of the Road to Records event where Adidas brings all of its top athletes together for one purpose, to break as many records as possible.
After the elites finished racing, it was time to have a little rest in the media area before Liz tried to break her 5k PB. How are you feeling after that performance? I really tried to pace the first lap and like not go out too tough because last year I went out so hard and the whole second lap sucked. So Liz didn't get her PB, but we had a brilliant weekend. Thank you so much to Adidas for having us and it was amazing to watch all of these professional athletes go at it and do what they do best for Paris Olympics this year. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I upload every single week and I'll see you in the next one. Nice. <laughs>